Just Acorn. The whole story next. Did you hear that the community organizing group Acorn shut down all of its offices this week? Acorn shut down all of their offices this week in the same week that the California Attorney General released his assessment of what really happened in the supposed Acorn pimp video scandal that ultimately brought the group down. Fox News, you'll recall, trumpeted this video from a conservative activist named James O'Keefe, in which Mr. O'Keefe supposedly dressed up like a flamboyant, black exploitation version of a pimp. He went into different Acorn offices and convinced Acorn workers to give him advice on handling the finances of his prostitution business. Mr. O'Keefe and his Acorn pimp video were promoted by an offshoot of the right-wing website The Drudge Report. Mr. O'Keefe personally and his supposed expose were promoted heavily, 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 on the conservative Fox News channel. A and it might have been a tip-off early on when Mr. O'Keefe refused to release unedited versions of what he actually taped in those Acorn offices. What Fox and O'Keefe decided to show from his videos was damning. Him in the pimp costume, you know, how outrageous. How could these people not have known he was a bad guy? Those acorn people must be used to seeing guys dressed up like this all the time. And then their answers to his questions. They actually offered to help him with this plainly illegal thing he was doing. How outrageous. It was very damning, right? Well, after the videos came out, California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger was one of the Republicans who pounced on the acorn issue as if acorn was a real threat to the republic. On the basis of the fact that some of the ACORN offices where O'Keefe's filming took place uh, were in California, Schwarzenegger asked California Attorney General Jerry Brown to investigate. Mr. Brown did investigate. And as an official law enforcement investigation, he actually got a hold of the unedited O'Keefe tapes, the raw footage, before it was cut down to make the point that Mr. O'Keefe and his conservative activist patrons and Fox News wanted to make. And when you look at that unedited footage, well, what ho, lo and behold. Attorney General Brown describes O'Keefe's pimp video as severely edited and says that the unedited videotapes show, quote, that things are not always as partisan zealots portray them through highly selective editing of reality. Quote, at, among the things made clear, he says, by the unedited tapes are things like an acorn staffer calling the cops on Mr. O'Keefe uh, and the fact that Mr. O'Keefe didn't go into the acorn offices dressed as a pimp. Quote, at the beginning and end of the internet videos, Mr. O'Keefe was dressed as a 1970s super fly pimp. But in his actual taped sessions with Acorn workers, he was dressed in a shirt and tie. He never claimed he was a pimp. So the whole premise of the attack on Acorn was false. This guy dressed up like a pimp and went into the Acorn offices and they gave him straight up advice like that was normal. Actually, no, he was dressed up like a law student and they called the cops on him. Oh, well, no harm, no foul, right? Well, no. Uh, quoting from the Attorney General again, the original storm of publicity created by O'Keefe's videotapes was instrumental in ACORN's subsequent denunciation in Congress, a sudden tourniquet on its funding, and the organization's eventual collapse. So ACORN's now gone. And it's an afterthought that the attack on them that killed them off was totally made up. Bogus. Bullpucky.